Welcome back. This is Rupesh and you are watching CBB Nuts video series on C++. This video is about quiz on arrays. Okay. So I have these points here. We'll be looking at them line by line. Okay. So let's start it. So the first point is, is it possible that you are giving larger size but initializing less values in that? Yes, it is possible and there is no problem in that. Actually, it would look something like this. If you will have this number here, there will be an array. Let's say 0 to 10. So the last index would be 9 here. Okay. And there will be total 10 boxes so that you can insert your values in this. Okay. So it would be like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the rest of them would be filled with zeros. Okay. So for your surety, I can show you that. So if you will print this number, we all know how to print numbers here, right? So this is at zeroth location, one, two, three, four. So five to nine location is empty. Let's you want to print eight location here. So what would be the answer for that? So let's go ahead and check that. See, it is giving you zero here. And the similar way you can print for others also like number, so we can see here that we are printing from 0 to 9 here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. So from 0 to 9, as you can see here, from 0 to 9, we'll be printing all these values. So it should be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and rest would should be 0. So let's check that. See, it is telling 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and rest are zeros. So what we understood from this, if you are giving more size and initializing with less values, remaining portions are getting zero automatically okay so this was first point now this is another point here you can see you are giving 10 as a size but you are inserting till 11 okay so this is overflow so you are telling that i will be creating till 10 but you are inserting more than this so what should happen in this case let's check that this is telling the error this whenever this red comes it tells that there is an error in this line and it is telling that too many initializers for integer 10. Okay. So it is telling that in this array, you are initializing too many values. Okay. So this was about second point. This is your another point. Can you write it like three and number like this? Remember when we were printing it, we were printing it like this three. Okay. But not like this here. Okay, this is not allowed. If you will compile this, it will give you an error. It is telling that line number, this one has error. Okay, so you cannot put it before that. Okay, but there is one interesting thing you can do. Okay, so let's see that now. You can put this inside the bracket like this and you can view value outside like this one. Four and number. There is no problem in this. Let's check this. See, 5 is coming as the answer. At, at 4 location, 5 is only there. Okay, see. So, how come this 4 number is equal to number 4? So, actually it is like 4 number is equal to equal to number 4. Why these two things are equal? Actually, the reason is whenever you write either like this or like this compiler change it in its own way and that way is something like this don't get confused much okay it is like this so whatever type you are writing either you are writing it like this or this compiler will convert both into this form and compiler understand this very well. It is like number plus 4. So this number is pointing at the 0th location here. Okay. This location. So if you will give plus 4. So it will go like this. Plus 0 location plus 1 location plus 2 location plus 3 location and 4 location. So it will choose this 5 here. Okay. So it traverse like this and this is the syntax of doing that actually you can also write it like this so let's try to run that also we'll remove this and we'll place this here 
and we will try to run that. So let's try that. See, again the answer is 5 here only. Okay. So this is also a syntax. And it is not like you cannot write this 4 here. Actually, you can write 4 here and number here. Then also it will work. Let's see that. See, it is working. Okay. So these are some tricky parts of your arrays what generally student don't know. And you can tell your friends also about all these. He or she will be very happy to know about this. But I wanted to clear one more thing. Like what is this initial thing here? Actually, this is the index part. Okay, 0 to 9. We know very well that how to access this. So this is called index. This 4 is an index and this is a value part. Okay, so this is how 4 is the index and this is the value part. Okay, but did you notice how that number plus 4 thing is working? Actually, this number is nothing but a address in your RAM. Okay, so we all know what is RAM in our computer. 1 GB, 2 GB, 4 GB and all that. So, it is nothing but a storage. So, it will store like 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's suppose it is storing something like 1 here and 2 here and all the way till end and this is some address let's suppose 0 1 9 2 okay now if this location is having this as address then this location will be having this address plus 1 it is very obvious right so this address would be 0 1 9 3 and just after this address, so let's suppose there is another value, let's suppose 3, then that address would be 0, 1, 9, 4. Okay, so this is how this 4 plus number thing is working. You are telling that I want this address plus fourth location. So, as I told you, this number is an address, so we can check that. If you will just simply print number here like this you will get some address okay let's check that see this 5 is there because we are printing this and this another line is having some number see 0 cross 28 ff08 so this is the address in your RAM. there must be some value in that address okay so assume this is some address because i cannot know what address it will take okay so this number is representing some address okay so here we can assume like this number is nothing but some address like 0 cross 1 1 2 f f and c okay so this address is nothing but your first location okay this location don't get confused understand it like this your array name is not just simple your array name it is an address in the memory like this. Let's create another array here because that is getting a little messy. 0, 1, 2, 3. Let's make 10. 0, 1, 2, and 3. Let's suppose this is some array like integer number 4. Okay. So there will be some address like 0 cross 29. Let's suppose this is the address. Okay. So, this number is representing this 29. If you will plus 0 in this, you will be standing at this location only. But if you will plus 1, like 29 will become 30, so you will be pointing at this location. 2, then it will become 31. If you will add 3, then it will become 33. Okay? Sorry, 32. So, it will work like this. So, if you are adding 0, it is remaining at this location only. That's why it is called that array name contains the first memory location's address. That's how we understand it. Okay. And that is the only reason this thing is working. So, as we saw here, this number is some address. And if you plus 4, it will go 4th location. So, this is 0th location 1, 2, and 3, and 4. So, that's why it was printing 5 here. Okay. See this 5 here. Okay, and second line is address of this one. Okay, so don't worry that these things are very abstract in your mind. This is a programming language. It will take little time. Okay, 
So be with me and if you have any doubt, comment, I will surely reply. Okay, I will see you in the next video.